Hey everyone, um, hopefully you can all hear me out there. Um, thank you for coming to the stream. If this is uh, your first time, please do subscribe. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know. I'm. This is my kind of like first solo kind of uh, play of a narrative game. I basically just thought I would give this a try and just see how it all goes. Um, I've. I haven't played this game before, so it is a first playthrough, uh, as the tags would suggest. And um, yeah, I, I just thought it looked interesting. I did play the, um, so there was a demo of the Redux version of this game, which was, um, I don't know, I played that quite a while ago now on um, on Steam. And uh, yeah, they did this giveaway of uh, the original version um, on the Epic Store. And yeah, so after I played through the um, Steam demo, the uh, yeah, the, the demo, I, I just thought the whole thing was really, really good. Uh, really, really atmospheric. I really like the vibe of everything. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd give this a go. Um, hopefully you're all, you know, anybody who's here with me, hopefully... You'll, uh, you know, you'll get a kick out of it. You'll enjoy it. Um, yeah. So anyway, I hope that's all, you know, interesting. And yeah, maybe let's uh, let's try running the game and just see how this goes. Okay, so should be interesting. But yeah, I very much kind of um thought that the um the game had a great vibe to it. Um seemed to be kind of this interesting mix of kind of slightly uh, of like the you know cyberpunk element cyberpunk elements, the noir kind of thing, but also I really like this this very kind of nightmarish kind of vibe that it gave off. Oh, here we go, intro. The year. If they told me what the world would become, I would not have believed them. First, there was the nanofade, the disease of transition, a digital plague that swept across the land, killing thousands upon thousands of augmented souls. A heavy cost for meddling with our minds and bodies. Then came the war, the big one, the great decimation. The West killed the East. The East killed the West. There were no winners. Except for Cairo. The corporation seized power and forged the Fifth Polish Republic, a crooked empire of blood and ash. There was no one left to oppose them. But still, we endured, and so it goes. The rich get richer as the poor rot away in their hovels, desperately looking for ways to escape reality. I am what they fear, a corporate tool of oppression, a despised leech that creeps into your dreams and feeds of your fears. If you don't remember, if you won't remember, that's when they call me to access you to gather evidence, to dredge up whatever's hiding in the darkest corners of your mind. My name is Daniel Lozelski. I'm an observer. Yeah, so obviously um, then we've got another wonderful, um, wonderful example of another attractive aspect of the game. We've got Rutger Hauer, who's going to be doing the, uh, who plays the main role. Um, of course, the late great Rutger Hauer, um, absolutely brilliant actor. Um, so yeah, it'd be interesting to see. Now you can see I've got to continue here. Um, that's because I uh, previously played through a bit of the game just to make sure it was all working okay and testing it on um, 
testing it with streaming okay through OBS and all the rest of it. So uh, yeah, that all seems good. Um, but yeah, I, I think it looks like a really compelling kind of like interesting game. Very much something like my street, very um, cyberpunk noir with the kind of like a dreamlike or nightmare-like kind of uh, aspects. Um, but yeah, I thought it looked really interesting. So uh, so let's go. You there? Come in, Lazarski. Okay, so oh, a bit of reflection of myself there in the mirror. Lazarski, oh, yeah, you there? A little bit of control. Can't look in the mirror to see myself though. Come in, Lazarski. Yeah, generally, generally, um, again, okay. start. Okay. Lazarski, you there? Yeah, I'm here. You okay there? I've been hailing you for the past five minutes. I'm fine. I must have dozed off. No rest for the wicked. How's the dream eater treating you? Well, I'm not a vegetable yet. Could have fooled me. Hardy heart. I'm serious, Dan. Your signal's all over the place. Have you taken your meds? Not in a while. Do it now. I need you in good shape. Nice middle mouse to check your status and use synchrosy. It's my status. Okay, so there's obviously all this digital kind of artifacting going on because of something to do with my implants, maybe. Uh, like my cybernetic implants, I'm assuming. Look here, citizen class. October 19, 2038, date of birth, quite a while ago. Okay, so it looks like I just click on this. Yes. <sighs> nope. There you go. Looking better already. Yeah. Wouldn't want me to mess up. Can you see the headlines? Another leech goes. Berserk. Don't be like that. It's just... Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, here we go. What's this about? Just checking in, or you need me downtown? Nah, just a checkup. No one left for you to interrogate. Oh, I've seen myself in the mirror now. Oh, and... Yep, not pretty. Animation the on the mouth as well. leveled half a block. The place is still on fire. Corporate goons all over the place, securing the area. Covering your tracks, you mean? Oh, and the oh, oh. Careful what you say. This is a monitor channel. Who is this? How'd you get this frequency? Don't you recognize me, Adam? Yes. Well, what's left of me, Dad? What happened? Where where have you been all this time? Away from you. It's funny. I thought it would be easier to hear your voice after all these years. But it really isn't. Come on, Adam, don't start. I really thought I could pull it off, you know? I was so close to making a difference setting us all free and now it's can't be for nothing doesn't matter tell me where you are i'll come and get you shit dad for once in your life just listen to me whatever happens i need you to remember you're not in control adam can you hear me you still there? Oh, I have to turn it back on. God damn it. Yeah, this... Dad? Dad? Matriarch, display caller ID. Displaying now. Okay. Krabinski. That's new. 
Matriarch, locate source of last call. Triangulating coordinates. Come on. Location established. Tenement building. Class C district. Jesus. Adam, the stacks. He just had to hit bottom, huh? Joel said, interesting, that's, uh, cla they said that was class C. I, fucking butter. I was a class B from looking at my own ID earlier on. Oh, we're going to get some credits. Very nice. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I, I actually haven't, uh, even though I said I'd, I'd gone through it and tested it, that, that's actually quite a few months ago now. Like a three months or something like that. And so I went through and did this. Um, so, yeah. It's kind of like, be interesting to see how much I can actually remember. Nice, um, like the music. Suitably dark. Cyberpunk can ever be um, a um, positive thing. It's always like Cyberpunk being a warning, you know, about possible futures. But uh, definitely from playing the game, it definitely seems to be quite like very much um, noir, the kind of Gibson-esque kind of, you know, shorthand. Yeah, very cool. I'm just going to tab out for a second, just check. I did it earlier on, just need to do a quick check. Make sure everything's looking okay on the stream. Yeah, seems to be... Seems to be fine. Okay. Okay, so... Yeah, so again, I did do this bit, but I, there's some great aesthetics here. Oh, great. Don't remember that. Maybe I'm going to turn the subtitles on since last time I played. So, hard work and patience this is all it takes to achieve a civic status upgrade. So again, very much in our bleak, black hey. mirror type world. Hey, somebody's shouting at me. Is it the robot? No, it's not the robot. What does that say again? Move work, don't use you. Don't lose your head, the new Pollock's personal computer. There we go. Let's talk. Need to get out. Easy there, Tin Man. I'm not looking for trouble. Oh, Tenant. Huh? See, augmented. Uh, what? No. Family. Family. <laughs> no. Tenant. I don't live in this dump, if that's what you're asking. State your business. That's quite a collection of scrap you got there. I assume your augmentation license is in order. Order. Hmm. State your business. Yep, yeah, he's not persuading. I'm going to have to tell it him something. It seems to me like you're overdue for a check. State your business. Yeah, he doesn't want to, uh... Come, let's... Oh, that's a good idea. Come, let's keep up the line. Oh, that's so tempting. Just oh. visiting a friend. Friend? Uh, name? Uh... Yeah, wasn't it that one? Grabinski, Leon Grabinski. Grabinski. Leon Grabinski. Then. Uh, mm. oh. Apartment 7. Uh. Oh. Ground floor. Through the courtyard. Turn right, turn left. 
Straight ahead, turn right. Yeah, I got it. Back with him forwards. Thanks. Yeah. Mm. I, I'm okay. not going to remember any of that. But I really like this kind of, again, this kind of like digital overlay. I wonder if this is, I'm assuming that to some degree this is what I'm seeing rather than what's actually here. Can't get through those a pipe away. Oh, there's a nice static kind of effect there. Yeah, I'm assuming that. Look at this. This is great. So, can I see through that wall? Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, there's kind of digital overlays on everything. I wonder if, it, again, how much of that is what I can see and how much is what is actually there in reality. Although, obviously, I'm assuming this. Well, who knows? I mean, maybe it's all augmented. Everyone's augmented now. Well, oh, and we've got a UR here. I'm just saying, through the... It's a Department 7, so what's Department 7? 5, 4... Oh, 7, there you go. What, corner, it looks like. Got the 2 o, so 3... So 4 stories all together. Uh, investigation, ongoing after explosion at Chiron Inc. Chiron. Research and Development Centre. Chiron, I saw at 10.36pm, I saw uh, Chiron, Chiron up there as well. There's obviously a, a mega, you know, a corporate power in the cyberpunk dystopia. Okay. I can't... Uh... It's a dead end. Yeah, sorry about this everyone. I you're going to find this is very much the kind of thing I'm gonna do. Hold L and B, push the door, can't do that one. It's a friendly robot there, I'm assuming this one's the same. Yeah. Last button, what's this one? Poly math 31 A. Six we are, okay. Reality great immersion. Yeah, I mean this is great. So much attention to detail. Tattoo gun. No, 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 come on, Mr. Robot. Also, this is some kind of janitor. Yeah, janitor robot. Macron 6 tattoo gun. Laser precision stuff. Okay, not something for your everyday Joe, I think, uh, tattoo gun, but okay. Oh, very nice. Very moody. Attention, oh, citizens. Curfew is now in effect in all Class C districts. Remain in your apartments and enjoy your chosen holographic content. Thank you for your preparation. There's a flying car there. Very nice. Shouldn't have changed. turned around to close the door. What's this? Plants. Plastic surgery, something like that. Looks like there's a line around her face. Come on, where's the text for the adverts when you need it? It's car advert, another thing. Got Jack. Jacked Ink. Oh, very clever. Jacked Ink. Very cool. There's a tower. I didn't say church, but I'd suggest it'd be a church. Oh, and some more regular looking future dystopia in the distance there. Birds flying around. That's a lot of pigeons. Oh, there's a statue there. Take a chair. Yeah. Okay. Go in here. Corner somewhere, I think. Okay, facing the wall there, so it's kind of behind me. And then in the corner. Come on, no, it's not let me up the stairs. No, it's not. So yeah, let's let's go. This is probably oh. Oh, okay, it's not doing anything. So that's apartment one. Oh, no, that's a... that's the loo. Oh. Very nice. Apartment 3. 
apartment two. Again, the overlays are just absolutely brilliant here. Go oh, another going the wrong way, but I'm gonna go the wrong way anyway because I'm kind of silly like that. Okay, compass. That means we can't see what the rest of the thing is. It's got these ports on the wall, looks like something the board should be plugging into. Oh, blocked. Eight is uh, seven wasn't down here. There we go. Seven. No entry phone on that one. Can I just open it? I can. What the hell? Control. ID 656210. Can anyone hear me? Great. Fucking oh, great. Cut off. Okay, Dan. Maybe it's not him. That's a uh, warping effect on the screen there. The heartbeat. Operational efficiency restored. Okay. Okay, so it shut the window. This is Lazarski 656210 setting up a crime scene. Okay, so I did do this, press E to activate electromagnetic. I need to check ah, the no compass for connections. Hold right mouse, listen to it. HN. Gotta start somewhere. Missed call, HN. Model Hermes. Consumer grade communications. Legally illegal modification detected heavy encryption. Interesting. Uh, then Q to activate BioVision. Oh, okay. Yeah, very cool. Well, let's have a look. Let's do that. ID check failed. Time Mail. of death about an hour ago. Well, before he called me. Before he called. So it's not Adam. Focus in the air, those. Erratic cutting pattern, indicating the killer was in a frenzy. Erratic cutting pattern. The head was removed post-mortem. Post-mortem. the killer took it. Motive. Unclear. Match contaminants detected failed to extract forensic data, so no more glory there. Now there was another electronic device, there we go. Six million volts wasn't enough. Six million wasn't enough. Uh more than I think so. Again made by Chiron. Why? Oh, I can pick it up. Okay. Down. Do not anything else. Oh, there we go. Q biovision. E EM vision. So I can analyze it for. Is that what this is for? To analyze this thing for more evidence on itself? Okay, anyway, right mouse button to quit. Uh, so, okay. Done everything here. So, oh, here we go, something here. Could 
be the same guy's blood. It's got all the same matches to it. Failed to extract forensic data. Contaminants detected. All the same stuff. More slashes. What the fuck do we have here? Clormars. Oh, well, I mean, it's four. Four and a line. That kind of matches what we saw here, right? I oh, know. Three and a line here. Three on the wrist. Uh, turn this off. Oh, wrong one. Yeah. Structural damage to the actual thing. Anything else around here? Very nice, again, nice effect towards this up here. Nothing. Let's have a look around. It's back here. in here, let's try, ooh, what is this? Ah, a fan. No big drama there. Very cool though. Oh, what's that? A picture. Do I? Adam, ah, there we go. So this is your apartment. Doesn't mean it's your body. 2068? Why is the picture... why is it blurred out? Holographic frame. The data. Bio data. Thing on the bottom. Why is it... Uh, why is one of the faces blurred out? He says he recognises Adam, so that's got to be the, the guy at the bottom. I mean, is it... am I the... It doesn't make any sense why I'd be blurred out. Well, he did say that he hadn't been in touch for a long time, he tried to get away. So, some kind of a strange relationship, maybe. Okay. You never cared about this stuff. A hidden data storage. The encryption is too complex for my hacking tool. Data storage? I'm taking it with me. You might be able to decode it later. The Caper... 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 Ad Astra. Data storage unit. Heavy encryption. Bio scan, no tech scan. Ooh, what's there's something in there though. Oh, I see. That's the chip in the middle. Uh, yeah, so he's taking that. Okay. Uh, Maybe. Oh, yeah, something. So that was it. No, that's ah, that's a biological controlled substance 45F, better known as feed. You'd never touch this, Gwen. Feed. Yeah, um, nothing. I mean, yeah, biological still there, but. Back. Come on, stay open. Okay. Oh. It's not going to work. Oh, ends with four. Okay. Let's put a 
come back to that. Did all that stuff. Oh, okay. Normally that just says it's ignored. There's something here. There is something here. Identity card. Adam Lazarski. It's under Adam's name. Card validity expired. Chiron Incorporated. High Chiron. level clearance. Looks genuine, but it's expired. Adam Lazarski, Chief Research Officer. I'm assuming that's a typo, guys. Here it's level A, Chiron. Biological signs. Put it back. No biological data there. Oh, I see. I was wondering what that circle on the right was. It's just the, the hole. Okay. What's this? Ooh. What? Is it behind? Victim is equipped with an ID mixer. Identification not possible. Damn it. Okay. So that was. Is that inside his body? Yeah, I mean, it looks like it, doesn't it? Interesting. Okay, so we did that one there. There's nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing. So there was stuff. Ah, okay. What's this? The processor, that's it? Just a random processor? Motherboard. Doesn't tell us anything beyond that. Just a motherboard. That's like something that ended in four. Or digit code ended in four. Is a door. That doesn't go the other way. Come. Don't have problems with that. Okay. Let's... It's a computer there. That's the. That's the motherboard. or evidence disposal. Structural damage detected. It's the whole thing, I assume. Yeah. Okay. Biological signs. No, nothing biological.
so there was something a, a, a date went to the four no, it's not that one but mark that 13th of April like 4, 3, 1, 3, 0, 4 13th of April oh, mind you I don't know Biological up there. Oh. And oh, wait, hang on, the power. So the cable's running to here, runs to that, runs up to here. It's around to. Uh. No, 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 come on, I just want to turn it off. What am I missing? ID. Just some tools. Keep pressing the wrong buttons. How do I? Oh wait, there's power here. Cables running to the. Is there a button I can press? See, there's, a, there's something up there. How do I get it down? Is there? Oh, I haven't yet done this one. This band was busted. The signal must have come from somewhere else. Right, so I haven't scanned that one yet. There's something above the door. Shh. Guess I triggered the security system. Must be a way to deactivate it. Registered security code. Neosis. Kyron, okay, we really do handle everything. Right, okay, so... Seems to be any way for me to get any bioscan stuff? No. Nope, oh, that's far away. How do I get the... Oh, something... Is there a structural damage detected? So do I use the thing to fix it? Is that is that the trick here? I use the circuits to oh come on. Oh except I can't move when I pick it up, so Oh uh, I didn't have that before. Printed on real paper. Oh. A bit archaic for you, Adam. 1984. That ends with a four. It's funny that it 
that the thing lights up at the bottom though, like the bio scan. Yet yeah, there's nothing I can seem to do that will. Maybe it's a mistake. Anyway, 1984. And shift makes you run as well. I did, did that without thinking about it. Thing. No, the tech thing just shows everything underneath. Ah, there was something here. Let's see what this is. Hmm. Personal computer. That's all it says. This does some. Ah, okay. Downtown Inferno. Tragic. attack. Emergency services. Again, why am I in trouble with the uh, cursor? It's like it's misaligned. I'm just going to check the streaming again, make sure everything on the screen is appearing correctly. Oh yeah, seems to be fine. Emergency services are still on the scene after an immense explosion tore a hole in what was once a serene business area downtown Krakow. Blast is now thought to have originated at Chiron Incorporated Research and Development Center. Lower joint search effort has been launched by the KPD, Krakow Police Department, and corporate personnel. The rescue teams scouring the site are yet to find any survivors among the rubble. The exact number of casualties is yet to be calculated, but according to our sources, no high-ranking Chiron official was injured in the tragic event. As to what caused the explosion, early reports suggested a reactor malfunction. The rig says he wishes to remain anonymous, anonymous and his own ideas on the subject. We are not excluding anything at this point, but this has terrorists written all over it. This is precisely the sort of cruel and cowardly tactics of the anti-Republican insurgents. Sell out. We'll have an official statement on the matter shortly. If the insurgents were indeed behind this vicious attack, the goals remain a mystery. The centre conducted civilian research focusing primarily on developing new and improved neural links and other consumer products. It seems that whatever third party was involved, their sole purpose was to wreak havoc and destruction. Striking clear into the house of large man asked to comment. Police Inspector Robert Akula gave a prompt and stern reply. Chiron executives have provided the full support in dealing with the situation. He then retreated to his squad car, clearly destroyed by the end of the day. We will bring you more on as stories that develops. That one? Was that one? Mail? They know. HN. That was in the chip, right? Listen, I know you're a busy man and all, but we've got to talk now. I think they're on to me. For real this time. I'm almost certain someone followed me home yesterday, and today I saw this weird guy outside my window just standing there. If you can't guarantee my safety, then I'm out. I've got enough problems as it is. HN. And then a J. So not Adam. Leon was the name of the guy with the apartment. Neither of those fit. As far as our little meal goes, don't worry, I can manage her. She's not like us. She knows she's in over her head and it clearly terrifies her. It could be HN. You can't expect too much from a simple mind. For now, just focus on your work and leave the human relations aspects of our project to me. For the time being, calm down and maintain focus. Eyes on the prize. J. Glad you like the piece. I think it captures the essence of what we're trying to accomplish. J. So what do we have there? A J and a HN. Let's check the, the message. I think the message was a HN. And documents. Corrupted. 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 All corrupted. So, well, we're going to open the gates. I've deactivated the apartment security system, leaving the crime scene. Let's 
yeah, there's only the one story, and then that's the exit, I assume. Okay. What's so we got here? Holographic library. Just make sure there's no... Oh, there's something here. What is this? Synchrosine. That's the, the the drug to use that I used in the beginning in the car. Powerful augmentation stabilizer. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it. Synchrosine refilled. What's synchrosine? Synchrosine refilled. else around here underneath. No, oh, it's not gonna let me down anyway. So the next thing was this. Was, oh nope. Oh. A glitch in the system, a brief history of the nanophage. Well wait, yeah, there's buttons either side. Sigmund Freud, psychoanalytic theory. Noah Weinberg. Future of robots, robotics. Takashi Shinner, China. Forensic genetics. Mechanical engineering, John Dubovsky. Volume 7. An uneasy alliance by a Doctoro. Linda Doctoro. Related to Corey Doctoro. I wonder. Linda Doctoro. for that one. Interesting. A history of cybernetic augmentation by Linda Doctor. Yeah, I mean, that's, it makes me think of Corey Doctor. He's kind of a writer and technologist, really interesting guy. And what's this? Human consciousness, God's creation, or evolutionary accident. There is a name. Bruce Egan. Nanotechnology and Modern Medicine by Melissa Ellison. Any relation to Harlan, I wonder? Ronan Asan. One-way street musings on art. Legends. Nice library. The Wind-Up Soul by Martha Wilk. Wind-Up Bird Chronicle. Maybe. Reference to that Wind-Up Bird Chronicle. By, uh, what's his name? Hmm... A Japanese writer whose name I can't remember right now. What's his name? The Wind Up Bird Chronicle. Damn it. I can't. I can't hear. Wind Up Bird Chronicle, come on. Haruki Murakami, that's the one. Anyway. Okay, so... Yeah, none of those are going to give us anything. Yeah. I mean, that's my favourite. I don't actually know it anyway. Okay, she just turns it off. Okay. Anyway, I've unlocked the door. What is the hologram, though? I, I really wish I could scan the hologram. No, they're not going to be biological. Hmm. Okay. What was the... There we go, middle mouse button. Case log finding out. Um, there's my... I think that's the level of drug I've got. Oh, and here's a case log. Okay. Case 405, finding out I moved the apartment. Identified the caller. That was HN, right? Yes, HN. Drugs are starting to kick in. Yeah, there's nothing else around, right? Nope, nothing else around. This just doesn't feel right. You're still not alive. Thank you. 
road procedure. There is no need for concern. Remain in your apartment and await my instructions. License modification, naughty. Well, the bio isn't so useful, but they, this one's kind of handy right now. Uh, case log. Okay, the alarm stopped anyway. Need to find the woman. Where are we getting the neighbours? Okay. It seems quite linear at the moment. Um, just the way it works, so... Okay. Hi, this is Tom. And Irene! <laughs> we hope you're having a positively peachy day. Oh, we sure do! Sadly, we're not in right now. <laughs> but you can leave your message after the beep, and we'll get back to you as soon as we're home. Yay! Oh, I mean, boop! <laughs> <laughs> Something in sums. Oh, this is the lock. Oh, it's like a safe. Wow. Ah, uh, that's interesting. I, no, okay, well, that makes sense. Why would they want to let me in? To interrogate the neighbours. So... What? What do you want? Yes, somebody's in. Got a minute, sir. KPD. Oh God, they're here! The cleaners are here! <sighs> ah, okay. He got a bit worried. Venus are here. I assume this is some connection to nanophage. The alarm went off. Everything's Chiron. No, nope, nobody there. For obvious reasons, don't let me through the door. Hey, PD, I need to talk to you. You broke it. No, you broke it. Nuh uh. Will you get these kids to shut up? I'm fucking talking here. Yeah, what's this about? Let's go to the point. Well, you know the tenant in apartment seven. Shut up, snitch. I thought I told you to shut up. Seven, huh? Nah, can't say that I know the guy. Okay, so it's a guy. Yeah, well, seen him once or twice. I might have a vague recollection. Could you give me a vague description? Maybe. What's it to you? Oh, I don't think I'm ready to go personal. Police business. Just answer the question, and I'll get out of your face. So that's how it's gonna be, huh? Why don't you knock on that door and see for yourself? No. Can you describe him or not? I don't have time for games. All right, all right. Younger fellow, probably in his 20s. Wow. Anything else? Nah, I never really got a good look at him. Medium height, medium built. He was just kind of there, you know? Have you seen anything suspicious around the building? Any strangers skulking around? Nah, I don't pay much attention to the other tenants. Bunch of losers. A lot of... You are so dumb. Not as dumb as you are. Nuh-uh, you're way dumber. Shut the fuck up! Sounds like domestic Not bliss in there. Not citizens like you. You bet your ass. Good thing we'll be getting out of this dump soon. Is that right? Yep, I've been working my way up. I even filed for a status upgrade. Once that goes through, we'll be moving to a B-class district in no time. Yeah? 
Good luck with that. Okay. But it's not gonna let me in. Lost that one. I mean, this is real slum. This is real slum housing. Brick walls and off through. I think I've stayed in a few places like this. Answer phone? Nope, just no answer. Nobody there. Nope, nobody there. Again, should I be keeping an eye for technology or blood on the ground or something like that? Maybe. I don't see anything with a card down there. Now, where was the, uh, down there? Corridor. Hang on, did I come in this way? I can't even remember. Where's the, uh, entrance to the, uh, wall? Oh, yeah, yeah, I walked past here, didn't I? I walked past that. I was making a bunch of noise at the time. Uh... I suppose I should keep looking around. Do it in orderly fashion. So I want to try this assume this is just gonna be some kind of com box. Oh, the stuff there. Synchrosine collected. I mean, how do I check how much synchrosine I'm holding? It doesn't say. Has that not gone up though? HR. Yeah. Okay, well, it's fine. Uh, I mean, it's a good point, so I'm, I could be missing stuff if I'm not using my scans to look around. Go back to Adam's place, so that's just here. I'm not gonna go right there, I'm just gonna. Yes, Adam's. Zena was on the right here. We've got tech. What have we got? Oh, keypad. time. Okay, so since I've come that way, I'm actually gonna... Since that's not useful, stop. Let's go back there. Uh, oh, some is that a window? God, I'm absolutely lousy at spotting stuff here. So where's the window? Is there something in here? in there. It's just ducting for the building. Cool. Like a lift shaft or something. Been repurposed. Nice. Nice detail. Okay. See something ahead. That's the neighbours. KPD, I need to ask you some questions. Do you know what's going on? My hollow projection got cut off. I can't get a signal. The building is under lockdown. No external connection. Not much we can do. Shit. Sounds serious. So, uh, you wanted to ask me something? Um, should I lead? Or should I... Um, should I lead them? Should I? Do you know who lives in apartment seven? Seven? I didn't even know anyone lived there. Uh, hey, you wouldn't happen to know when they're going to fix the connection. Not that it's like super important to me or anything. I just need to know. It's not touchy. 
Ah, it might take some time. I'm sure they'll fix it soon. Let's placate. You just take it easy. I'm sure someone is already working on it. Oh, good. It's just that it feels weird to just sit here alone with my thoughts. You know, can you talk to me some more? It makes it kind of easier. Hopefully you'll talk to me. Well, what do you want to talk about? Oh, um, uh, yeah, you know, uh, Gorski the Giant was fighting Killer Cromer today. You an AMA fan? Hmm. Uh, not really. Sounds like you are. Of course, course, I don't know who won since my projector went out. <sighs> Why are my hands shaking? You've been living here long? Oh, well, I, uh, uh, it must have been at least seven or eight years. Ever had a lockdown before? Um, I don't think so. I don't remember my projector going off. Ever. Yeah. Sorry, I don't have time for this. Oh, okay. Uh, I understand. It's no problem. I'll just sit here, alone. God, I'm really starting to sweat like a pig. <laughs> Hang in there. <laughs> this is interesting. So there's, um, maybe it's been the entire time. There's kind of this weird digital glitching on edges. I don't think it's the game engine, because it's been, at points it's really clear. But when there's moving, it's almost like there's this kind of glitching, almost like there's a problem with the, again, maybe like visual implants or something. Let's have a look around. So I'm pretty sure this was a dead end. It was a dead end. So this is a good chance to, ooh, no, ignored. This is a good chance to kind of uh, get part of it out of the way. Hey, BD, I need to talk to you. Get away from me, man. I got a piece on me, and I ain't afraid to use it. He just said he's a policeman, no, you, you idiot. Now, calm down. I'm just looking for some answers. Oh, I know how you get your answers. I got nothing to tell you. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. He's going to get them. Can't even get in the thing. There's no, literally no door, uh, no handle. I mean, no. Scan it. Something interesting. No. Nothing out of the ordinary. Let's do this one as well. No. Nothing there. Again, locked. There's no handle on this door. It's an interesting one. Okay, well. Oh, here we go. So I'm facing the uh, suspect. Farewell. I may as well do the two apartments on the left. Then back around to that coded door. Very cool. Uh, yeah, I don't, I, I'm trying to decide whether these visual artifacts are part to do with the rendering engine or. I mean, they're very. It's a really cool effect in any case. Very, very well done. No. Hey, you there. Come here, quick. Somebody who got me first. What is it? What's up with the lockdown? Is it the phage? The nano phage. Is there an outbreak? I don't want to panic people. Keep them inside, I think. Well... You can't yeah, rule that keep out. in their apartment. For now, you better stay in your apartment. Well, what the hell else am I gonna do? Wait, why oh. am I talking to you? You might be infected! Get away from me! Damn it. That was a bad idea. Okay, last one. Can I get in the loo? Come on, right? Wrong button. Oh, I can. Hooray! The loo is open. No electronics. No, sorry, it was electronics. That was bio du dubri, I think, here. Ooh, well, lots of flies. But, I mean, it's not in the best of Nick, is it? Uh, maybe let's close the door. Uh, and here. No, not interested. And then, right, that should be going back. Oh, it's locked. Interesting. Yeah, so it really is sticking you on rails with the way it's making you go through the, the game. So how's my thing? Has it gone down? My bar? 
No, that was kind of high. But it doesn't tell me how many pills I've got or anything like that. Collecting them all, but for what? And what if I need them later on? Yeah, nice bit of paranoia. Okay, so that should be open now. Yeah, shoot, this is scripted, yes. Yeah. Caution, low synchronization. Administer synchrozine. Okay, so you see the glitching. Maybe you don't see it, maybe it's not coming through on the stream. So, okay, this is low synchronization, but then look at my bar. Maybe the bar's got nothing to do with anything. Serious glitching now. Let's try it. Yes. Synchrozine <laughs> injected. Strain level decreased. Yeah. The glitching isn't there anymore. As I'm looking around, that's really clever. That really, really clever. Very well done. Very well done. So nice. We're going to say I haven't really said anything to appreciate the graphics. In the Redux version, it was def there was definitely a um, there was something in the Redux which was definitely very, very impressive. Was the graphics? Um, I mean that that was even further. I said I hadn't played this for three months, or I just played the beginning to make sure it was streaming okay. But the Redux one was uh, even longer ago, probably six months, maybe even more past that. But very impressive. Nope. No one. No. Okay. What's this? Mateus? Krusacek? I'm not even sure I'm saying that night. Krushanchek? Ah, uh, who knows. Nice. Nice touch. And I picked it up. Okay. Nothing down there. Let's have a look around. More electronics. No signs of anything there. Keep, keep asking. Keep knocking on people's doors. Come to the door, please. Oh. Just want to talk. Who are you? Did Chiron send you? Chiron. I'm with the KPD, if that's what you're asking. Seriously? We haven't had a cop around these parts in... ever, I guess. Well, you've got one now. Yeah, good luck. You're gonna fucking need it. Uh, case log updated. Okay, what's the case log? So, it looks like I've... Yeah, the neighbours have gone, so no more neighbours. Yeah, I mean, one yeah, I mean, a lot of detail in this, and again, very, very, very impressive. Really impressive stuff. Door unlocked. Okay. Also, look at that in the distance there, the blurring. Oh. Yes, really, really is quite something. Again, to be the same thing down there. Yeah, again, loads of attention to detail, loving it, very atmospheric. Okay, door unlocked, so... I assume this is unlocked for a reason. As I said, the game seems to want to send you in certain directions, so... Okay. Yep, it's opening. First one. So... What am I hearing? Is mum going to be all right? No signs of anything around, even the... Ah, okay, well... That's my computer and license software detective. Is that Chiron? It is Chiron, everything's Chiron. Mum going to be all right? Interesting, there's no bio points of interest. Got a bed there, you've got a sink and no biological stuff. What? Oh, oh fuck. shit. That was open and now it's not. Remove oh shit. Oh shit. Human body. 
Their life function, they just kill themselves. 174 centimeters. Shit. Remove your Hayashinas implants. Implant. Remove your implant. Wait, is, is there somebody in the corner? Just the body. Well, that's grim. Okay, let's... With s fire and sword spiders. Okay. Voices from below. Don't believe our lies. The plague is still out there. Hello and desirables, if you're up to date with Chiron propaganda, you've probably heard of our so-called Minister of Health spouting of the gem of corporate wisdom. For those of you who didn't, let me catch you up to speed. To all those who have given in to insurgent fear-mongering, I say again, there is absolutely no need for concern. The nanophage is no longer a threat. We have contained the glitch and thus freed ourselves from the disease. All citizens who support responsible augmentation have nothing to be afraid of. Three words. Bull fucking shit. Let me tell you how things really are, unless you're one of the lucky Class A fucks with a shiny set of mods. In which case, you're probably not reading this. The nanophage is still very real. We've had at least three confirmed cases in the past year. One of which led to a small-scale outbreak. Luckily, we managed to contain it before it spread beyond control. Now, you might think three cases ain't nothing to get excited about. If so, I can tell you've never been in an outbreak. The most of us cooped up in Class C district, even a single instance is too many. Okay, so what the hell are you supposed to do? First and foremost, it's better to prevent than cure. Given the phage recovery rate, these words should be considered gospel. Once play kits, it's usually too late, so if you want to stay safe, look for these symptoms. Fever. Number one, fever. Pay attention to the Slightest bumps in body temperature, the phage starts off slow, barely more noticeable than the flu. So if you're feeling a bit under the weather, get your ass to the local clinic and run a scan. Better say, sorry, number two, implant irregularities. This is where it gets tricky. Assuming that, like most of us, you can't afford to run regular mod maintenance, you've probably gotten used to the old jolt of your neural implant plant, or a slight spasm in your artificial arm. However, if these start to grow at increased rates, you need to check. Number three, erratic behaviour. Every once in a while, try to look away from the projector and take a gander at your neighbours. If any of them are acting weirder than usual, babbling to themselves, walking crooked. I still have the kid. There might be something afoot, assuming they're not drunk or high. A bit of civic awareness won't kill you, a lack of it might. Or juncture inflammation. Okay, so the skin at the base of your implant turns red and starts to itch. The base news is you might be infected. The good news is it's not a death sentence. Our clinics have performed numerous extraction surgeries, and unlike the corporate cleaners, most of our patients tend to leave the operating room alive. As long as there are no nanite punctures, it's still not too late. If there are, you're most likely busy hallucinating and puking blood to notice. Nice. Our clinics. So I'm just rereading that. If you spot any of these symptoms in yourself or ask anybody, anyone in your neighbourhood, contact one of our clinics. If you don't know how to find us, ask around. We've got eyes and ears all over C districts, so chances are we'll find you. Now here's what you definitely don't want to do. One, don't panic. Chances are it's still not the phage. We've had dozens of false reports on alleged outbreaks that turn out to be pigeon flu or an in pigeon flu or an old implant gone haywire. And number two, don't be an idiot. Last couple of months we had dozens of incidents of violence aimed at suspected carriers. Guess what? It doesn't solve anything. Once the disease takes root, we're all in this together. Three, do not report it. Can't stress this enough, the cleaners are not your friends. They're not coming to help you. Ah, uh, the cleaners, that explains why some of the hysteria. The guys, the cleaners are here. Yeah, I shouldn't, in future when I'm having a conversation with people, I shouldn't try and hint on it's the phage. Lesson there. Best case scenario, they'll lock down the entire building and go through it with a fine tooth comb using the outbreak as an excuse to confiscate submersive, subversive materials and detain undesirables. Worst case scenario, the ones they don't slaughter outright will end up as guinea pigs for Chiron R&D. Holy cow. If it comes to that, do yourself a favour and pack it in. Jump out a window, blow your brains out. Doesn't, doesn't matter how, just make it just make it last. You won't thank me later. You'll, re you'll regret it otherwise. I wonder if that's... I wonder if that's why he hang, hanged himself. Also, a nice touch there for, like, pigeon flu, like, I don't know, swine flu was kind of a thing. So, yeah, that was that one. Then mail, undelivered mail notification following. Uh, following message can be delivered. 
Dear Annie, that's the news. Oh, right. Okay, planned. No longer be among the living. Details. And set on my own terms. Don't ask for a bottle barrel. God knows you don't owe me. Anything, and by the time the cleaners are done with the place, yeah, you thought the cleaners had never been anything left for me to bury. Just know that for all my faults, I've always loved you, just like I loved your mother when the days took her out of me. Dad, that dates and displays of affection became a foreign concept. I wonder what I'd lost. It's not justified what I put you through, but it is the truth. I'm so happy you, find, you managed to find a way out of this hellhole. Find somebody with a deal. Wish you all the best. No documents. Oh. So, I remember this. Retro, isn't it? But you never know. Buddy spiders. Yeah, so you had to. Yeah, you had to put gold coins. And then the sword and the bug things kill you. But you kill them with the sword. Then you get out. Okay, I did that one. Level two. Yeah, I kind of remember this. Yeah. Where am I? So, I'm going to get a sword. Right, so I'm going to have to come back and get these two. Okay. Then I assume I can just get out of that one. Yes. Okay. Can I do two levels? It's a game. That was that one, wasn't it? Okay, so exit. Okay, interesting. Dad? Dad? Is mum going to be okay? Something like that? Keeps getting repeated. There you go. Mum going to be alright. Where, where? Which door is that coming from? Now, I couldn't get through here earlier. Oh, no. Janet left the door open. Oh, what, I'm back at the beginning? Yeah. I was going to say, I thought there was like a wall here or something. Anyway, like right at the beginning, I could have sworn there was a wall there. Is it her? Uh... And yeah, I could see that. Yeah, this is the entrance hall. So. Over there. Yeah. Okay. So let's have a look around. I think biological. Oh, is that that? Synchrosine refilled. Tech-wise, just the computer. I can open. Nanophage and I. Are you Stashy Son Sosna? Model plane. You have nice touches of detail here. Carriage down, don't recognize the flag. Shh. Can I scan this thing? Nice touches of details like the book and the plane. It's not computer. System update recommended. It's a bit out of date, man. What's that? Dog tanks? Neo-pagan? 
Tchaikovsky, Janus. Janus Tchaikovsky. Is that right, Janus? Dog tanks. Nothing else here. The wall stands tall. Our brave boys and girls continue to defend us from the eastern hordes. Shot rings out in the dark. Shall. This, uh. What is this propaganda or? Well, is it a, um. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. The wall stands tall. Our brave boys and girls continue to enter from the east. East in the hordes. Coming from the east. Shot rings in the dark. Michelle, a young soldier next to me, immediately turns towards the wall and sends to his gaze. Shot rings down. Explain without a second thought. He runs up to the wall and imposes a colossus of concrete steel. He mounts it in a single leap using a state of the art leg of augmentations. A little gift bestowed upon our troops by the Chiron R&D department. The scout aims his rifle into the inky blackness. His cybernetic eyes scan the eyes for any signs of the enemy. Stern and resolute. His comrades hold their breath, waiting for him to say the word. What will it be this type of soul scavenger, or a full-on assault from one of the numerous raiding parties? The scow this unholy land, when he finally speaks, I cannot help but shudder from the sheer intensity of what is transpiring. All quiet. All quiet on the eastern front, at least for now. Guarding the wall can be a daunting task, Michelle confesses the following morning, but it's also a privilege. The other soldiers gathered in the cantina and nod their heads in approval. Charles introduces me to his squad members, some of which are on their second or third tour of duty. Several firm handshakes later, the soldiers regale me with stories of their service, each one more breathtaking than the last. When I ask what drives him to such acts of heroism, Michelle opens his head, lowers his head, and responds in a slightly embarrassed tone of voice. I don't think anyone here considers themselves a hero. I know I don't. The way we look at it, we are all part of something much greater than ourselves, something that began with our fathers fighting in the big one. The big one. Yeah, the Great Decimation. Ah, yes, the big one. Such an assuming name for the greatest conflict of our times, the one we know as the Great Decimation, a name given not to belittle, but to simplify. A desperate attempt to make sense of this unprecedented tragedy, during which many of our nation's finest gave all there was to give in defence. All there was to give in defence of our way of life, but they are very existence from the barbaric hordes of the East. In Poland, so I assume that's like Ukraine, Russia. And yet, out of this cauldron of conflict, the baptism on fire, we have emerged victorious, and while the old world was engulfed in flame, in its ashes we have built our great republic. To all the heroes that gave their lives and health in the great decimation, we salute you. While the soldiers' dedication is undeniable, their service is made much more bearable to the, due to the contributions from the Board of Defence and Chiron's top scientists. Michelle is quick to, to, to agree. Or is it Macal? If it wasn't for the corporate government, Corporate government. Interesting. Some of us would not have made it this long. Take these babies, for example. He says, while affectionately patting, pat, patting his glistening leg, leg prosthetics. Without them, I would be a cripple, wasting away in some hospice, unable to serve my fellow citizens. Thanks to Chiron, I can fulfil my role in our great society. Spoken like a true patriot. And let us not forget that Chiron takes care of our brave men and women on and off the field of battle. Our ongoing veteran rehabilitation initiative ensures that soldiers who are no longer able to serve can reintegrate society so that they can lead rich and fulfilling lives once their glory days are behind them. News. One time, Mr. Tchaikovsky. That's like the dog tags. I assume it's the uh, guy at the front desk. While we all appreciate your exemplary service and the sacrifice you've made for your country, the VRI policy enforces strictly proactive stance on helping our brave veterans reintegrate with society. Regular coverage requires deed of permanent B-class employment. This is C-class district. Presented to our representative on an annual basis, your current janitorial position does not qualify. Given these circumstances, we much sadly deny your claim and therefore force terminate your participation in the program. Effective immediately, as I say, the veteran, veteran pension fund will no longer cover period means of your cybernetic prosthetics. We wish you all the best. The Veteran Rehabilit Re Rehabilitation Initiative. This is not much better. Right, so the guy's a veteran, and obviously his implants are you know, half his face, like in an arm, uh, seem to be an implant, and he's been crapped all over 
by the Veterans Association equivalent in this world and told that because he's not good at living in good enough housing, he can't have any more help. That's shit. <clears throat> enough. All right, this has gone long enough. Better or not, I don't give a crap anymore. I'm more messaging, I'll find you and beat the fucking junk out of you. My mother can no longer take the shit. She's sick of telling you over and over that her husband, my father, died 18 years ago. She's moved on. We all have. Nobody wants to live in the past. Constantly live tragedy. For the last time, Mike Javorski is dead. He was Jakovsky. Javorski. He's been dead for a long time. I have somebody for, like that into the busted ass head of yours. I don't care how you do it. Just fucking remember this time. Even if it's tossed between this and remembering when to take a dump because the next message you send up won't you? Wow. Shit world. <laughs> <coughs> Documents, ground floor. Ah. Damn it, what was her name? H something. HN? Simon Hoffman in H. I don't think it was that way around. I think it was HN. Okay, nothing there. Of course. Two HNs. Helena Novak, apartment 104. And Hannah Nader, apartment 106. Both so on the same floor. 104 and 106. So, yeah. And I assume I... Through... No other HNs coming up. Basement. Topola, Tupo Anna. Okay, interesting. So everything else is fine, but what's there? What's going on in the basement? Living quarters, Kalaski, Emil. Oh, so, oh, I see. So it's storage space for the apartments. Okay, and some people are living down there. Wow. And we've got more of this. One level. There's bloody spiders again. I can't get that. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to do this. Okay. E this is going to be tricky. So I go around the loop. Sword. Oh, there we go, so I can get two. Okay, and then I have to take this guy and run around the houses. There we go. To the is it princess. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Oh, it out. Fucking hell. You again. Not a good idea to sneak up on me, you know. Need to get out. Police business. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what you are. Oh, yeah? I duck or anything, but I can't. During war, took one alive. Sent for one. Now few. you. <laughs> to get into his head. You fought in the big one. Is that why you got all this junk in you? Plasma sweep. Hit our convoy. <clears throat> Borrowed through armor. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring back memories. Yes. Memories. What can you tell me about the tenant in apartment 7? We've already kind of done this, but let's see. Mm, tenant. tenant? Yeah, tenant. How long has he been living there? 
Yeah. Maybe longer. Not good with time. You ever talked to him? Didn't get out much. None of them do. All right, Tin Man. Let me know if it comes back to you. Excuse me. Yeah, let's have a look at Let's Something have a look triggered at. the lockdown. Mm. Mm. Trying to get it open. Rudy and I. You think it might be the nanophage? You had any recent outbreaks? No. Last one. A long time ago. Down by the river. All the, the implants. Bad. The implants. Yeah, it's nice. Um, again, really nice detail here. Really good. I'm loving the light as well. Really, really well done. Way out, Rudy. I take it, Rudy is the robot. Multifunction service and maintenance drone. Don't lose it. What? Mm, wonders of sometimes. I need to track manually. Can we lift the lockdown from the inside somehow? Or get a message out? No. Keep people in. Isolate, accommodate, alleviate. Yeah, we all know how that last one used to work. <laughs> all right, I'm heading out. Can you give me full access to the building? Please. Uh, uh -huh. Assistance. Unstable. Unlocked. What I could. Thanks. You better stay here. There might be some very nasty people out there. Nasty. Uh, huh. Bad. Look, just stay safe. You know what? I never got your name. I'm Dan. Uh, name? Janus. Janus. Huh. Like a Roman god. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. Sorry I gave you a hard time earlier. Good to meet you. Janus. You sure Janus was the god of two faces, and his face has been split in half. Half synthetic, half real. Assuming that's a reference, but... I'm sometimes not the brightest at doing those kind of things. Lock him in. Lock out of his box. Oh, you can see your feet as well. That's kind of cool. Oh, police badge. Got a police badge. Hang around in there. He is. Well, Chiron. Well, that's interesting. It does say police on it, but it's Chiron symbol. So here's the robot trying to get out. SMD-102, model no longer supported, wow, it really is crappy in this neck of the woods. He's trying to get out. That was uh, blocked. Maybe that'll open later on. Like, because when I came through here earlier on, there was nothing. That was, like, blocked. I mean, there's like a wall here. It's not even a doorway now. Anyway. But there, yeah, definitely guiding you through. Uh, what was there? Oh. What am I supposed to be doing? I've kind of lost track of it now. Oh yeah, um, 106 and 104. Okay, and you see we're starting to get the... Oh no, maybe not get the glitching, okay. The stairs. Those damn pigeons. Very impressive though. Great. Really good attention to detail. Very great world that this is. Oh. Slight evolution in the music there, so I assume it's Nice weather. Get back in here. Come on. 
pigeons in. And I can go back in there again, so it's opened up. It was... That's the basement. Okay. It's one o. Whatever. One o two, one o. I can't remember. Is that one o four, one o six, and why that? One o six, one o four. So one thing at one thing at a time. Let's take one o four first. That's the door behind me. I'm not looking. I'm not doing my scanning, which I should be. Hey! You! I can hear you out there! Help me, please! What's wrong, sir? Oh, I heard this awful noise. What's going on? There's been a lockdown. A lockdown? No. Oh, God, please, not today. Well, what's so special about today? I was scheduled to undergo a, a medical procedure. It's a private matter. I'd, I'd, I'd rather not talk about it. Suit yourself. Yeah. Are you okay? Sounds like you're in pain. Oh, it's fine. I'm just... I got a, a condition. I'm, I'm waiting to have it fixed. Anything I can do? <laughs> sure, if you're an expert in corrective surgery. Sir, I'm wondering if you've seen anything suspicious lately. I haven't seen anything in over 40 years. Ah, uh, that's his correct. Your I think have corrected. I, I, I really don't feel comfortable talking about it. Fine, I won't waste your time then. Hey, wait, I did... Hear something. Quiet footsteps, deliberate, Ooh. heavy breathing, angry, not hiding, hunting. Interesting. Mm. Anything else? The smell. It seemed uh, oddly familiar. Reminded me of my childhood. Your childhood? Yes. My family lived outside the city with all manner of creatures. When it would rain, the smell would be similar. Hmm. Okay, there's something to unpack there. When it rained, it would be similar. The smell. When it rained, it would be similar. Or the toilet. So there's a monitor in the corner. Oh, nothing on my electronics. And they've got to make it easy, I guess. Wow, that's kind of like an interesting symbol there. Oh, what's that? Oh, another one of these. There's Leonard's neural stimulant vector. That's really cool. Bio scan, electrical scan. Nothing important. KPD. I'd like to ask you some questions. Okay, actually, get yeah, almost Certainly a officer. full head. Always glad to do my civic duty. You seem pretty laid back. You do now the building is under lockdown. Well, yes, but there's not much I can do about it, is there? I mean, I'm sure the authorities are handling the situation as we speak. Come to think of it, isn't that why you're here? Hmm. Yes or no? Um, sure. Well, there you go. Nothing to worry about then. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? Yes. Seen or heard anything suspicious lately? Neighbors acting weird? Actually, I did hear some noises coming from 104. Then the woman stormed out of the apartment and ran off. Okay. What kind of noises, sir? Screaming, breaking stuff. I, I didn't think much of it. I mean, those two are always at each other's throats. 
You mean these people get violent with each other? Well, I'm not sure about violence. Mostly just arguing, I guess. Today was worse than usual. That's probably why she ran out. Did you see where she went? Well, no, I didn't actually see her. Oh. I could smell her, you see. Smell her? Don't tell me you can't. That cheap crap she oh. pours over herself, the entire hallway reeks of it. She probably thinks it makes her seem ladylike. I see. I got it. Thanks for your help. I could hear her panting, too. Moaning like the Oof. whore she is. You did, huh? Yeah, biggest fucking cock tease you've ever seen. Always <laughs> well, toying with me, bending over when reaching for the lock. Fast. All naked underneath her clothes. She knows I'm watching, too. She likes to make me itch, cooped up with that junky meathead. I mean, what does he have that I don't? They're all like that, you know? Fucking mongoloid bitch. Now, I hope she gets what she fucking deserves, so that she knows she's fucked up. She'll have no choice but to come to me, begging. But it'll be too late, you hear me? Too late! Okay, I get the picture. Thanks for your input. That's one word for it. Oh, uh, I... Uh, yes, certainly, officer. Let me in. No, nah, he's not going to let me in. Okay. Advert. Impeccable sound recording quality, even under the harsh conditions. So what's that? Like a cassette recorder. So again, they're kind of going for the very much the retro... Ridley Scott's kind of... 80s future. Retro futurism. So that was from one of the apartments that we need to check. So he still works. Let's see if they've got to say. KPD. Oh, I'd yes. like to have a word. It's about time you showed up. What the hell is going on? Why are we under lockdown? Most likely a malfunction. I'm still looking into it. Well, you ain't looking in the right places. Because I don't know nothing. Don't know nothing. Notice anything suspicious or unusual. Other than the lockdown, I mean. Well, a couple from 104 were making an awful lot of noise a while back. More than, More than usual. usual, I mean. The girl ran off. And then it got, got quiet. quiet. Did you see where she ran off to? I ain't one to snoop. But, judging by the footsteps, I'd say she ran down to the courtyard. Okay. Anything else you can tell me about them? What? The couple? Don't know them that well. The girl seems nice enough. Not sure about the guy, though. What about the girl? Go on the sun? Oh, she, she's a trooper. Works double shifts at Chiron to support she's that ex-con asshole of a husband. Any idea what she might be doing for them? Can't be too important or she wouldn't be living in this shithole. Explains the look on her face, though. What do you mean by that? Worn out, fidgety. What you say? Jumping in shadows. Working for the corporation has that effect. I guess. Okay, so interesting information there. There was email uh, in um, Adam's apartment which talked about somebody being fidgety. You know, one referred to somebody who was like anxious, something like that. So this could be her. Also worked at Chiron, which is the right connection. What can you tell me about the guy? Amir? I think he's called. He looks tough, but he's got the yellow eye, you know? Twitches like a junkie. Probably sells the shit, too. How do you know that? What, the dealer? I see him sneak around during the night, carrying packages and stuff. I tell he's the goddamn postman. Does this kind of stuff happen often? You ever see a husband get violent? Nah, nah, he ain't a wife beater or anything like that. He's just messed up. And again, okay. ain't we all? Anything else out of the ordinary? Anything at all? Well, other than some asshole bringing animals into the building, I'd say that's pretty much it. Animals? 
Yeah, I could, uh, I could swear I heard something growling in the hallway earlier. I informed the janitor, but, eh, he'd lose the plot midway through the talk growling. anyway. Thanks. Oh, be very helpful. A lot to unpack ah. on that one. <laughs> That's new. Time to get the, um, back to get the artifact in the vision again. Also, what's that poster? Look at that one. I should have seen it. Changed. It's broken. Oh, and standard cleaning for us. <laughs> Doors open. Oh. Mm, still fresh. And it looks like we came to the right place. Unusual there. Anyone here? Case lock. Yeah. Let's say. Oh, there's something there. Card. Chiron. Chiron Corporation ID. Low level clearance, but still valid. Still valid though, yeah. Gashes on his face. What's in the bath? The blood everywhere. Who did this to you? A throat implants? Oh my god. Dispatch, this is Lazuski 656210. I got an emergency here. Ah, shit. Still no connection. Listen to me. The building's on lockdown. There's no way I can help you now. But I can get whoever's responsible for this if you help me find him. Guess this is Amir. Don't try to talk. There's another way. Oh, this is it. I get to go in. Robbery, drug possession. Oh, I'm Mia Novak. Yeah, this is him. So I guess we're going to do it. Subject approved. Commencing neural interrogation. Oh, well, this is. Yeah, this is some of the stuff I caught in the demo of the, the Redux version. It's very trippy. Oh. This is the apartment. I just came in here. Oh. What was that? What the? Well, this is certainly reminiscent. I've got my badge still. Yeah? Still hey, badge. baby. I'm home. 
Oh, my scans aren't working. My scans aren't working. No. This isn't right. Bath was there, the body was there. Now I'm in the hallway again. Is it 104? That's 101. Well, back in the hallway again. That was the neighbor who told me everything. Was the ducting? Backwards? This is going to be one of those games where I need to start writing down notes and there should be things behind or something like that. I don't understand it anyway. Okay, 104. Oh. No, either of my visions, the door's still open. Amir, yeah. is that you? Back to 104 again? Oh, what the fuck? What's going on? What the? Hang on. That's me, I... Go through the it's the same thing. What the Look at this. Marks on the wall. Is this his prison? Amir's prison? Counting the years or the days. Kitchen. Fucking hell. What? It's this way. There's something in front of <laughs> Whoa! Am I still going? I'm still moving. Doesn't want me to though. Where am I? What? No. Can't go through there. Nine eight seven. There's no apartment. Nine eight seven. Two oh nine. There is a two oh nine. What's this? Two oh nine. Uh, thanks, kid. This should get me through the week. So this is Amir's dealing. Five, it's on the ground. Radioactive. My course can't scan anything. Gregor's. 
Simchuk. Simchuk. One of these. Some kind of collectibles, maybe? Again, the prison. I can't get through the door. Is that me? Sent like yeah. Have I been here before? The drugs are the ones at the corner. It's the apartment at the court. No, I haven't been here before. More. Yeah, uh thanks. What is drug dealing? Can't get through there, can't oh. It's a shadow, my own shadow. Well, this is I've gone into Amir's head. I'm seeing all this weird shit. Federal parole fails, so this is prison. What the fuck, man? I told you not to show up during the day. Is this This must be very exciting. There's a floating bucket. I assume, but I can't. I can't manipulate anything. Coming out. When I stand close to it, it stops. Well, I assume there's going to not be any drugs here because. This is a dream anyway. This is inside his head, so it doesn't matter what I find here. There's nothing in here I can use. You're oh. not in here. You're not in here. Depart. What the hell? Something's walking. What am I looking at? What's this? What was that? You know what, I started streaming this one because I was saving alienization for later. What the? Somebody's at the door. Yeah, I was saving alienization because I thought it might be a bit creepy. I don't want to kind of like work up to it, but this is turning out to be creep creepier than I thought. Also, what's that, departures? Oh, 
this is decidedly creepy. Bathroom again, a toilet. The room's on his side. Please. This is creepier than I was expecting. Okay. We're back in the corridor again. We just came out of the apartment. Oh, I don't like the stop with this bumming. Is it not the same room? It's the same room. I went through here. It's the same... What the... It's the same room. It's the same room. Okay, let's take a different exit. It's the same goddamn room. Except this... What? And I go through here and it's the same room. See that one. Let's try this one. And there it is again. What am I missing? Hang on. Is that a part of the room? A door with a bin to the right. That's the one. That's the one. One light. now it's showing me a different door. It's that one, shelves to the left of the door. A light bulb above and to the right of the door. Circuit breakers to the left of the door. That looks like that one. None of the doors have it. What? What the hell? Just I went into the TV or something? This fucking slop again. Still got Daniel Lazarski's hand. Call soup. I dig in, it's not getting any better. But now I'm not Daniel anymore. Whoa. Very, very trippy. Where am I? 
on a train? So I was caught. That was when I was caught and then transported to the prison. It's really cool. Like ghosts or something, just not all there. Who's this guy? Oh, that's me? Yeah, it's me. Right? The writing on the head? Can't tell because he won't stand still. Yeah, that's me. I mean, that's Amir. Waiting with all these other people. Nope. Don't go any further. Showered. Shaved. Move. Move. Move it along. Move it along. No. Okay. What is this? It's the prison. No, don't go that way. No, don't go that way. Well, that's kind of... You can see... People in here. Oh, okay, okay. Guy in the next cell. Where's... <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, this is definitely giving me more of a dose of what I got in the tempo, that's for sure. doing it. I'm supposed to go... go the other way? Ah, okay. Just like to dive it. Is it sending me back every time? Two left. Four left. Two left, yeah. It's not letting me go. I obviously didn't go that way. I can smell you. I can smell you. Wow, 
Yeah, the guy, uh, yeah. It was obviously not a nice experience at present. Who won't lack the day? Fresh fish, yeah. You're in my sure, Shankar. It's turning me back. I tried to turn with the mouse away, and it always turns me back around. Samir. I need a fix. Give it to me. Now. Come on. Back up. No. No control. Fuck yes. Finally. It's got the shakes. Okay, so the drugs inhaled. <laughs> <laughs> this really is This really is fucking trippy It's hard to forget. So is this where he met Helena? Helena Novak? The HN who looks at Chiron? Oh, that's, that's a good night out anyway. Close to me. right through you. I saw that underneath all your muscles and tattoos, you were like a big wounded animal. Lost. Alone. Hey, at least you know what you were getting into. Yeah. yeah I, I guess, guess I, I did. did. Well, that's interesting, the voice blended with Daniel. Whoa, am I falling? It's the tattoo. It's the tattoo parlor from the yard. Jacked in pink tattoo shop. In sickness and in health, forsaking all others. You married to them? have and to hold from this day forward until death do us part. Any regrets? None. Back in prison. Right? So they got married. Nope, can't get in there. In prison, but it's it's falling apart. Or is this later? Oh, what? Huh. 
Okay. What's on the telly? This is... As I frequently said throughout the playing of this today, incredibly trippy. Okay, what's going on? The shower though? I can't get in. Follow the TV? Is that what I need to be doing? Yeah, I think so. Another shower. You're strong enough to beat this thing. Is this about his addiction? You have to try. Do it for me. For us. You're strong enough to beat this thing. This one too. What? Can I walk back? What? Trippy's well again. Well, the whole thing's trippy. I don't know why this is particularly trippy. Still the swan on television. Oh, are we back in the disco where we met? No, back in the prison. Wait, we're back here again, but it's different. Oh, this is a corner of the apartment block, isn't it? That's why. That's the corner that leads into their apartment. Helena and Hermia. Oh, and the shower again. Wow. What the hell? That was 
him at the end. <laughs> oh, it's Dan. Dan you <laughs> Neural interrogation aborted. Subject expired during questioning. Holy Emergency shit. Extraction procedures he died. He died during when, when he dived, when he was diving into his brain. The guy died. Holy shit. Case log updated. Interrogate the neighbours. Investigate crime scene. I have to find Helena. Yeah, tattoo parlour seems like the one to go for. But let's do the rest first. Uh, I think I need to synchronise, right? Yes. <laughs> Synchrony injected. Strain level decreased. Okay, well, I mean... <laughs> I mean, what a fantastic uh, experience. I mean, it's... <laughs> I'm kind of... I'm kind of gobsmacked, to be honest with you. Um, I I think I'm going to kind of give it a break there. I've been streaming for a couple of hours. Two hours, 22. Um... Yeah, I mean, what an amazing, amazing game. Really, really well put together. It's kind of on rails a little bit so far. I haven't seen... I don't know if the dialogue options are giving me different material or are guiding the story in a different way, and it's kind of hard to tell, because obviously I, d I can't play through the alternative. Yeah, my... Look at this, my... Uh, detective scans are back. Come on, let's try it. The only thing that's keeping him there. The voice box implant. Ah, uh, that was what was in his Not neck. Not common among long-time feed addicts. Feed. That was the drug that was in Adam's apartment. And then we've got his chip in his head. What we've got here? A wedding tattoo on his left hand. This could help me find the woman I'm looking for. Wedding tattoo. Oh, the tattoo, yeah, it's at the... Well, we already talked about the parlour, right? Lousy ink. Probably got him in prison. Is this a mask? Oh, inhaler. Yeah, he was an addict. We did say that. Yeah. Oh. What? The cutting pattern matches the one from the previous victim. Yeah. Up in Adam's apartment. Oh, Synchrosine. Synchrosine collected. That's the more oh, yeah. feed. Yeah, feed. Some other counter painkillers. The numbers on them might lead me to Amir's clients. From two oh nine, apartment two oh nine. Yeah, apartment two oh nine. Yeah, I did all that. Everything else I'm missing around here. Huh? Some strange looking here. Abnormal genetic not structure. Human. Not, not animal. animal. Abnormal genetic structure. Wow, this is completely completely trippy. I know I can say that a lot. That's the mask, that's the tattoo. That's the blood. That's the intestines. That's the scratches. That match the other one. There's the drugs. That was... That was 20... 11... Oh, 209 and 112. Okay, I'm going to have to come back to this. I'm not going to remember this. The apartment 112 and apartment 209. Both places to go. around. There's some 
something with a Chiron tag on it. Man, nothing here. Yeah. What is this? I mean, it's hair. It says hair. It doesn't look like any hair. Yeah, I just can't seem to stop this. <laughs> it's just a bit too much. It's just a bit too good. Okay, tech. Okay, so there's plenty of tech on the other side of the kitchen. To look at. But I'm... Yeah, I'm going to leave it there because I'm going to need to remember those numbers, aren't I? 112... 209. Well, unless it goes in my case files. Just hang on a sec. Ah, yeah. It has. 112. 209. So, in which case, yeah. Okay, let's keep going then. A little bit longer. How long are we in? Almost two and a half hours. Okay. Let's have a look. Well, we are in well, Helena. You must be Helen. What else are we hiding in here? Nope, that's the wrong ones we're looking at. There we go. ID card? Credit chip. Handy for storing off the grid currency. This is going to give me an extra data. No. No. Another holographic frame. What's this one? Do you know who that is, Daniel? That isn't Adam, I guess. That's Helena and Amir and somebody else. Oh, the tattooist? It's in front of the tattoo parlour. I know there's something over there. I'm just going to check these cupboards. Not that it'll let me get around them anyway. There's another nanophage book. Nanophage and I. Is that the same one that the uh, guy in reception had? The, the, what's it called? Same author. Not letting me scan it anyway. Let's be the last guess. Personal computer. Malware detected. Work with Chiron. Every job well done helps defend Chiron. Products system avoid specific demotion. Remain active. Apply for an authorised appointment now. Filter qualification is lowest. Highest system C. So that's the people in these areas. Waste disposal. Technician. Hmm. Yeah, classy. Looks like a classy job. Waste disposal. Job description. For daily inspection of class of C class district sewage on constant standby regarding any potential malfunction of waste processing plants. In the event of a malfunction performs comprehensive maintenance and so processing. Though equipped with protective gear afterwards, are expected to possess exceptional tolerance of noxious odors, nasal cavity filtration mods, and advantage applicants without protective implants are offered partial sensory deprivation. Procedure. Due to frequent exposure to biohazard technicians. 
Even your pest exterminator enforces strict pest control in a highly infested sensitive C class district. Forms daily extermination activities using both chemical agents and direct kinetic means. <laughs> direct kinetic means, that's a very polite way of saying shooting them, basically. Physically able and possess exceptional stamina and dexterity needs to perform extermination activities in hard to reach areas such as rooftops and ventilation shafts. Due to high risk nature of the appointment, all applicants undergo thorough background check and routine tests for control substances. Drone assembly line operator. Forms basic control and maintenance activities, activities in a drone assembly plant, although not mandatory and basic knowledge of robotics is seen as an advantage. Minimum of two years of experience working in an assembly plant is required. And a basic background check. A data courier. Oh, we're into Johnny Mnemonic territory now. Job description delivers encoded data packs. And to level 2 to 4, to and from corporate outposts located in B and C class districts. Due to the highly mobile nature of the appointment, a B district visitors pass is required. Pass is appointed to the applicant once they have passed a basic civic knowledge test as well as extensive background check. A fully functioning data storage implant, CR class or better, is required. Due to the confidential nature of certain contracts, all applicants are expected to undergo a short-term memory wipe procedure on a weekly basis. Yeah, okay. Definitely into uh, Gibson territory there. Junior service technician. Perform scheduled and emergency maintenance of consumer-grade holographic projectors in C-class domiciles. Given that the assignments ca are carried out in private domiciles and in direct contact with clients, applicants are expected to possess highly developed social skills and generally friendly demeanor. No fixed fee. Payment is based solely on the number of successful intervals and on exchangeable currency. Nice. Uh, you're paid in BSO2 protein stamps. Classy. Classy. This is a, an awesome feature we have here. Uh, that's one of the channel Okay. It's showing again. First up is attending a two artist. I must advise you to stop sending me these messages. If you think you have a problem, come see me at the shop. Secondly, the piece on your neck was healing up fine the last time I saw it. The accident worked. It really is, as you claim, getting all messy. It's most likely to do something with your incessant scratching tempering. For the last time, leave it alone. Anxiety. So I wonder if this is um, it's related to the nanophage, maybe they said... Um, Irritation around implants, but then it's a tattoo part. He's a tattoo artist, so maybe it was a neck tattoo. So the last batch you brought him was partially corrupted. Did he apply for the data courier job? I've managed to salvage most of it, but like I said before, you have to give the decryption tool more time to break through the scramblers. If we were to keep this arrangement, you need to deliver on your end this sensitive data. Each distorted line of code means hours of additional work and my time is very precious. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The software is undetectable. <coughs> the only way you're getting caught is if somebody catches you physically interacting with a workstation. I know you're scared. I'm well aware of the risk this situation puts you in, but this is precisely what I'm paying you for. A. That's the tattoo artist. He's called Jay. Hang on, wasn't there a J earlier on in one of the messages? Is that Amir? I mean, this is incoming mails? Surely. Helena? This is to Helena. Hi, Helena. Nita? Hey. Sorry. Hella? I know we go back a ways, but I really can't help you this time. I really wish I could. But even putting aside Amir's ongoing health issues, the higher-ups have enforced a strict hiring policy, no C-class, and especially no ex-cons. I know Amir's not a bad guy, he steps to the shop, but there's really no way I can get around these asinine regulations. Again, I'm real sorry if there's any other way I can help out. Let me know, Anita. Maybe these are different people, though. I mean, it looks like it should be. Amir Novak. Date of birth, 2052. Not for a while yet. I mean, Novak 52 at Cmail. <laughs> Conflict resolution can make problems go away for good. Interesting. And work hard when things get rough. Registered work experience. Delivery. Sanitation. Okay. Hey, we've got another round of the game. Bloody spiders again. Where am I? Hmm. 
Okay, so I can't. Where is the end here? There's two swords. away. Ugh, okay, let's try this again. I can't get them both, so... Position. I have to get this guy out of the way and go into him. I have to draw this guy away from here. There's no other way. Thank you. 
to that spot to pull him down. That's the only way to do it. So if anybody's watching, I need help. I don't need to kill them all to get out of here. This is the whole fucking problem. Why didn't he move towards me? more of them with the first one. I've got to get that one away as well. Can I even do that? go and get the sword and come back otherwise I'm screwed I've got to 
throw him away. Is this gonna work? No. Fuck. And I'm screwed. How do I get that fucking ah? Oh. Away before I get that one, that's the whole fucking problem. These last two. I go left. So I kill him first. Let's well, I kill them. Yeah, let's try something here. Is it possible for me to draw away both? It isn't, because they're both on dead ends. Oh, well, hang on. to do it. Oh, you 
fucking asshole. <laughs> oh, fucking idiot. Okay, let's try this one more time. Should have it this time. I can't remember what I did now. Oh yeah, I did the... Two and one. Did it that way, then I've got that one. Went up here. Went to all of these. That, then draw that one away. Wow, that was painful. Anyway, back to the more interesting part. <laughs> wow, those things are going to get harder as well, so... Is there any stuff here? Anything under the bed? No, so I'm going to guess that I've got to go back. The next step is simply to... Well, on that completely, completely thrilling note, I think I'm going to leave it there for now. I go to... What happens? 51 seconds since my last save. So yeah, I mean, that's a fine fine spot to end. Bit of a frustrating one, but all the same. So I've got to... As I'm dropping out, my next step is looking into these other apartments, basically. Uh, as well as... Got to find the neighbours, of course. Um... The tattoo parlors are the next. So let's go for the neighbours next and then I'll, maybe I'll start investigating these apartments as well and see see what these guys can tell me. Um, but yeah, that was, uh, I mean, it's a really, really interesting game. Uh, mini, mini 16-bit or 8-bit mini games notwithstanding. Really, really um, interesting. Very, very well done. And uh, quite creepy, but, but really quite the experience. Um, it's just anyway, go back to the main menu. Yeah. Takes it. Yes. Observer. Daniel Lazarski. Yeah, so yeah. Anyway, that was um Yeah, really, really interesting experience. I really thoroughly enjoying it. Um artwork and the uh, kind of style of the whole thing is really, really good. Um it would be interesting, I suppose, in retrospect to know get around to playing it again at some point and know exactly how the um how the dialogue affects things if at all or if we really are just like stuck on a on a you know a roller coaster sort of thing but yeah really really impressively done and um yeah i have to say just a really really great piece of work um um yeah I mean, I hope, I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. This was the very first, um, my very first attempt to try and do this kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, if you've tuned in, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, please uh, follow me if you like, and uh, make sure you get to you hit the notifications if you'd like to find out when I'm, when I'm uh, streaming the next part. But, um, yeah, if you're still here, then thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again soon. Bye.